Hi guys, welcome to Matt Bayerski YouTube channel. It's going to be on the Crystal channel as well as my normal channel. It's a great day to talk about a life um, of a crystal healer, a crystal worker. Uh, and this is a day in the life of me. As you can see, crystals everywhere, uh, working from here into my bedroom, holding them on a night, putting good energy into them. So I'm going to take you through a few um, little things that I do during the day. And gives you an idea of how I work uh, to the final production of my crystals going on to mattbyeski.com. So I guess the first thing I, I would do is, uh, um, okay, so I introduce you to these that I picked up and la I fell in love with them. Uh, they're called Udialite. They really are beautiful. I'm not sure where they're from. I'm normally rubbish, but it could be, I don't know, maybe Russia, somewhere like that. But anyway, I can't remember. But when I saw them, I thought, wow, they're lovely. And I put them in my hand. I thought, oh, they feel amazing, like teddy bears. <laughs> they're like sweeties. And I said, oh, they're gorgeous. And I love the matrix on them too. The, 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 yeah, I mean, they're just gorgeous. Just beautiful. I saw them. I, I cherry picked out of maybe 30 or 40 of them. And I picked three. I thought, these are lovely to mount as crystals. Uh, have as pendants. Uh, love them, absolutely love them. So today I take them out. I've had them for maybe, I don't know, a year. Might have had these for a year. And uh, I thought I'd take them out and uh, let's see where we're going to go with these. First of all, what I would do is I would check to see the authenticity of them and uh, just test them and see if they work. If there's any movement, if they are crystal and just to see if they're quartz. So what I do is, let's have a look. I'll just show you, give you an idea. So this is my machine. I, yes, I go on feel, I go on touch, but I also go on the machine because it helps me, especially with quartz. So I take my machine, I'll uh, just show you, put it here like this. As you can see, there is um, a thin, uh, like little stick there in black. Um, the first section of the writing on the on the very top is glass. So um, if I was to take a glass like that and hold the glass, put it there, put that there so you can see I'm doing it. So take a look at the, the, what should happen is because it's glass, it should only go to the section where it says glass there, okay? Shouldn't go any further. Okay, so let me get one of these quartz here, put it in my hand and watch now. See, it goes further and depending on what crystal you've got, see this one? So they go off the scale sometimes. Um, so that's the first thing I'll do. Um, to be honest, I, I kind of know that they're genuine because you can see uh, quite clearly when you look at the crystal, you can't fake something like this. So uh, let me have a look. Okay, just give me a second. Okay, so I'll move this glass out of the way. So when you look into the uh, quartz and crystal, when you've got like a matrix, when when one crystal is is touching the other and going in between, and you're seeing there's definite um, crystal difference difference between one section and another, but yet sometimes they'll overlap, and sometimes you'll get the the pink in the white. Well, it, it's I think it's pretty challenging to fake something so beautiful and natural like that. So this wouldn't worry me whatsoever, not one bit. I think the crystals that worry me a lot are more um, 
Moldavite. Moldavite worries me because it's so easy to fake these days and you have to really, really uh, look closely. You, you, even now at the, um, the gem shows and mineral shows, um, the um, meteorologists want to work with it within water. That's where they can really see it's uh, a genuine piece. So basically they submerge the Moldavite in water and check them in water. That's how they can really tell. Amazing really, but yeah, I think you've got to be very careful with Moldavite, but certain crystals like this, when you see, when you see the crystal like this, I mean, it, it's pretty, it will be pretty challenging to fake that. So that's the first point of call. Then I start to feel them and, and work with them, start to feel their energy, see what they feel like. This one's going straight to my stomach and heart. I can feel my heart beating and I feel my stomach expanding. So I know this crystal is a very powerful crystal. It feels powerful to me. That's the first thing I would do, feel each crystal. See if it's the same energy as the other one. Nine times out of 10, they're different. This one now I'm getting a completely different feeling with this crystal, completely. It's affecting my tooth. I can feel it there. It's almost like my tooth's gone uh, sensitive. Uh, just here, my jaw has gone weird. So I'm getting different sensations from that crystal. Then take this crystal and all of a sudden now I'm getting a throbbing pain down at the bottom of my um, knee, in, when my knee bends inside. Uh, try that again. So it's going straight back there again. So now I can feel the effect, a real pain across my knee. So from the three crystals, which are vibrating in different ways, I would then write down what this crystal felt like instantly, okay, which would be the stomach. So it would be healing the stomach and healing the heart. The second one would be for the jaw or teeth, which means normally when you're when you when it's in your jaw, it means stress. So this helps with stress. And this one I felt clearly in my muscle, which means this this is a crystal which will help with muscle and joint pains. So that gives you the that gives you an idea of how I work to start with to feel the crystal. That's why I say every crystal is different. So um, from that moment on, for the next I don't know maybe five, six, eight, ten weeks, twelve weeks, I'll pick them up, work with them during the day, work with them at night, fall asleep with them, and see how they feel, and keep writing down till I get a general idea of what that crystal does and how it helps. So from there, when I'm happy with that, and I felt the end, that I've worked with them long enough, I know what they feel like, then they will be into all kinds of stuff. They'll go into my oils, or like yesterday I had Cecilia up, she was doing um, singing bowls. They'll go basically into the singing bowls, They'll be vibrated into a, a beautiful energy and of course I will work with them constantly, healing with them and working on different energies, calling for different energies to come into that crystal. <clears throat> Once I'm happy with that crystal, then it goes to be made. So um, I'll either put it on the website as is, which is not very normal. I normally like to put them on pendants. So they get sent to um, Bali. So my last lot of crystals, which arrived there two days ago, they went into a little packet, a little box. They arrived uh, in customs, then customs, I have to pay for all the customs. Then my beautiful jewelry makers take them and then they start to work on them. When they're ready, then they get shipped back here through customs. I have to pay more customs and then, I, uh, then the work begins. I get the crystal like these, so like you can see this crystal now, it's come back. Now I have to work on it after it's been mounted. So now I know what the crystal uh, has within energy and I'm now going to just feed it with positivity. So I'll work with that for maybe a day, two, three, four days when I'm ready, sometimes two or three weeks. When I'm ready with that, then it goes onto the website. And that's basically how it works. That's a day in the life of a healer. So these crystals, I'll pick up, hold, and see what feels, and uh, write down what I believe um, is the property in that crystal, and then I will add certain properties in that crystal to enhance and uh, vibrate at higher energy level and more healing properties within that. That's what I call giving memory to crystals. Anybody who knows anything about ancient knowledge of crystals, they will tell you that a long time ago, 
this has been apparently documented. I don't know, but I only come to figure this out myself that you can actually put memory into a crystal and you can feel that memory. And a long time ago before we were we were bombarded with what we are now and that we have lost all our psychic ability and our uh, trueness. When we were vibrating at that level, we could put a memory into this, a thought into it, and then give it to somebody, take it to somebody a thousand miles away. They could hold it and actually know what that message was, what that, that, that memory was. I believe we can still capture glimpses of that, but in a way that the body understands rather than the mind. So when, I, when you get a pure energy working crystal from me, I believe that when you wear that crystal, the energy that has been placed into this crystal via the memory of what I am giving the crystal, it then produces an extra type of energy that then heals your body. So you imagine the universal flow, I am pulling a certain energy of healing the heart. I will work on this crystal to heal the heart. I will focus my energy on this to put all of the healing love to heal a heartache, heal pain and suffering. And once that's done, I now know that the energy in there, not only with the energy of the crystal itself, which is amazing, but it's had is now received an added memory to help heal the heart. And that is basically what a pure energy healing crystal is. And for 16 years, I've done nothing but do that through an accident through a child picking up one of my crystals and I realized oh my god the people who were healed from that crystal were having terrible issues terrible problems nightmares uh, all sorts of things happening to them and then when I took that same crystal out of my pocket and put it down a little girl grabbed it and then a few weeks later the mother room and told me that that particular um, crystal had helped heal that child from night terrors so it all came to me as an accident and I'm going, is this real? Is this real? Is this possible? It is possible and it is real. Just give me a second, just one second. <laughs> Sorry, I just moved you a little bit. Okay, I'm going to show you something you might not know. You probably know, but you might not know. Okay, crystals are very, very special and science knows this and we're not told certain things, you know, because it's not important to us. But when you get to find things out about crystals, it, it, then you start to realize, oh my God, what else can, can these crystals do? Okay, so I'm going to show you some. I have a staff member here who has long hair and it doesn't take much to find one of her hairs because um, I think she's malting. <laughs> can you see that hair? Can you see it? Yes, no, I'm just moving the hair. Can you see? Yes, no. Okay, so there's the hair, right? What I'm going to do now is take this quartz, which is a most divine quartz, and I'm going to wrap the hair, basically, on it. I'm going to wrap the hair on it and wrap it. Uh, wrap that there. Okay, so there is a hair wrapped around Okay, so let me feel it. So the hair is there, okay? Okay, that was a lighter against there. Okay, so I'm going to show you something now. The hair hasn't been burnt at all. See the hair? See the hair? See the hair? Do you want to see it again? I'm going to wrap it round one more time. Hold it in my hand. Oh. Round one more time. There it again. Sorry, it burnt that time because it wasn't close against the crystal. So basically, yes, and I'll show you now. Um, it wasn't tight enough against the crystal. It's got to be tight. See that? 
So you can see it's real hair. Oof. So basically what happens is when the hair is tight against the crystal and you do this against the crystal, the hair doesn't damage. And you know why? Because you can't burn yourself with a crystal if it goes into any kind of heat. Because crystals absorb heat, flames. And why do you think crystals are in the biggest computers in the world? Why do you think they're used for all sorts of things? Why do you think um, a, a phone, you switch your phone off and yet all that information is still stored in the phone? Because crystals hold memory and crystals also absorb any heat so they will lay big huge huge computers that the these big corporations need and inside they're crystals because it keep not only does it keep the memory but it keeps them cool so it's fascinating give it a try guys um, you know, there's no trick there. It's not like my floating five pound note. <laughs> this is a real, real thing. So it's really interesting. And that's just one thing. My God, crystals, they, they do so much more. And like I said, going back to the, the, the truth about crystals, they hold memory. And I realized that 16 years ago and I worked with saying, okay, let's see if this is real. Sorry. Some